about 1959, there was a girl who was walking home from school every day and she would walk past Molly Bethel's home. The little girl who lived in the house in front of us came one day and asked me to help her learn to draw better. And I'm just a sucker for that, <laughs> you know. Little by little, this girl told her friends, those friends told other friends, and Molly had a kid on every surface of her home. They were all squeezing into their kitchen and living room and front porch. This is an old nunnery. The nuns here allowed her to use this front room to teach art classes to kids. It was truly, truly grassroots children asking to come and do this. That church disbanded and slowly they were able to use the whole first floor. Then the building went up for sale. The donations ranged from about a nickel, 25 cents. No donation was more than $50. And we were able to buy it free and clear. There were stores and bars that had cans sitting out for, I mean, it was just this most beautiful thing, really. Locust Street has existed for all these years and is still going strong. It's an amazing organization and it's doing a lot with very little money. It needs help in every corner and everything, but it's also a space that is completely 